<clears throat> and what happens here, um, these patients, as you know, do have um, hypoxemia. Okay, so they will have definitely a lack of this oxygenated blood flow, um, decreased pulmonary compliance, and it can lead them to pulmonary edema from circulation and just a backup. Okay. Um, common causes with ARDS are sepsis or septic shock, inhalation of harmful chemicals, severe pneumonia, and head or chest injuries. Okay, so I'll repeat. Common causes will be sepsis, inhalation of harmful chemicals, severe pneumonia, head or chest injury. Now the way they treat this, the treatment is going to be oxygen, fluids, and medication for the pain or infection if needed. Okay, so that's ARDS. Now the next one here is DIC. Okay, so this is not our first time seeing this. We've talked about DIC in chapter 14 when we talked about bleeding disorders. So we know that this is definitely marked by uh, extreme hemorrhaging and clotting, okay, simultaneously. So just a couple of things I want to add to DIC. Um, Clinical findings for DIC will be ischemia to the fingers and toes. So patients will have ischemia to the fingers and toes with pain. They will have bleeding, obviously. And let me give you some other causes, okay, of DIC. Causes of DIC would be certain cancers, trauma, burns, bacterial and viral infections. So I repeat, certain cancers, trauma, burns, bacterial infections, and viral infections. Okay, so these are some causes of DIC. And the way they treat these patients, we went over this in chapter 14, but just to repeat, they can give them anticoagulants and transfusion of platelets, okay, to, take, uh, to um, help with the clotting and bleeding. The other thing these patients can have is definitely kidney failure, okay? We know if they're not getting enough blood flow or if they go into a state of hypoperfusion for long periods of time, this blood not getting to the kidneys is definitely an issue because the kidneys need that blood. Um, if you know going through circulation, about one-third of blood in the heart goes to the kidneys. So what happens here, <clears throat> if we have reduced blood flow getting to the kidneys, this can now cause an issue, okay, and put this person into renal failure. And the treatment for this will be dialysis. And then the last thing here, this is most common with sepsis and septic shock because this is a whole widespread inflammation. These patients can go through a state of hypoperfusion, not getting blood, not only to just maybe say the liver, kidney, but the stomach, okay, the spleen, different organs. So they will start to get multi-organ shutdown or failure. Okay, so this is another thing that can happen. Okay, so I am done with chapter 20. <coughs> now, let me, I'm just going to sit in the middle here. So let me just quickly review, and it's not much of a long, lengthy review, <clears throat> but let me just review for um, week four. So basically for week four, um, we've covered chapter 18, and I went up to slides 37. And for chapter 20, everything with the exception of the assessment of hemodynamics. And, um, also make sure that the laboratory values that I added in for this week, um, creatine kinase, creatine kinase um, and B, troponin, which falls under the cardiac markers. And then the other thing I added in was the lipid panel. Okay, so that is included also with week four. 
So week four is next week. Um, you guys had the video. Um, I won't physically be here, but here I am. Um, so with week four, what will happen is this information will be added to the midterm. Okay. So um, the next video that you'll see will be the midterm review, which I will go over chapter by chapter. Um, so you won't have just a plain test with this, but this will be added with the information for the midterm review, okay, or for the midterm. So when you come in week five, you will take um, the midterm, which includes chapter one, excuse me, um, yeah, chapter one, four, seven, 11 and 12, uh, 14, 15, 16, and 18 and 20. Okay. So just wanted to just sum that up. That is the end that concludes um, week four. Again, um, 18, 20, and I gave you your laboratory reference guides. And so that's just enough information that I can add on to the midterm. Okay. And the next video, I will do a complete midterm review.